Hey y'all, welcome back to Kicking Grass. My name is Kat and today I have a really special treat for you guys. I would like to introduce you to Diesel. Boom, boom. Welcome Diesel to the stage, y'all. I felt a little like Steve Irwin when this dog walked through my doors. Will you just look at that beauty? Here I am thinking that I'm all beast and like trying to pick him up. Ooh, get all four paws off the floor, but nope, nope, that's just not happening. So front end first, super graceful. Then back end, yay, we're in the tub. Okay, Diesel, let's get started. Today I'm doing a good D shed on Diesel and at the start of it, I use my curry comb just to see what I'm getting myself into. And I'm kind of like, holy cow, you guys. This is the most sheddingness dog, if that's a word, sheddingness, that I have ever put my hands on, at least for a short haired dog. I do conditioner, I use the high velocity to try to blow that conditioner into the coat, really stretch, tre stretching the skin to really work it into the coat. I am just in such disbelief at how much hair is pelting me in the face. It feels like I'm being attacked by tiny needles. So there you go, it's a good image of my glasses, thank you. God for safety glasses. Here I am just really working my fingers in, really trying to get a handle on what I'm dealing with. <laughs> um, but you know what? I'm always like challenge accepted. This dog was so cool. He was so well behaved and he just, he just did great. He was like, I think he really started to enjoy it after a while. I mean, who wouldn't enjoy a nice massage, right? So, uh, yeah, you just really use that rubber curry. I love stuff that grabs, and that's one of the keys when you're doing a D-shed. You want something that is going to grab. Here I am using the D-shed shampoo. It's filled with omegas. I really work that in to the hair, and I start to notice something. I start to notice that um, he has a little bit of like this greasiness. See, I'm still, even with the shampoo, the shampoo was grabbing, but it wasn't grabbing as well as I would have liked. So I went and I found my secret uh, magic power of uh, baking soda and oatmeal shampoo. Now everybody thinks that oatmeal shampoo, here I am using the comb, lifting that hair up as much as I can. Uh, everybody thinks of oatmeal as just being super nourishing to the skin, and it is, but it is also very absorbent. Here I am squirting that oatmeal baking soda shampoo on and really working in and that is when I really felt like I was getting somewhere I was just in awe by that giant drool string I had to show y'all here I am see how that oatmeal baking soda shampoo is really working for me it just really started grabbing I can finally feel like I can rinse that off blow dry after that and really get that hair to come loose. And that's the whole key when you're de-shedding is you just want to get that hair to where it's clean enough where you can grab it and it can come out. Um, I do go back and condition one more time. Uh, but that high velocity blow dryer just starts really knocking that hair out from underneath. Uh, everything that's loose just really starts to come out. Again, it was uh, on the tub, in the tub, probably somewhere on the ceiling, on the floor, in my hair. It was everywhere. So, but guess what? It's not in your house. So here I am, I take Diesel out of the tub. We get him on the table for his final blow dry. You see he's wearing his happy hoodie. He wore it basically the entire time just because I used the high velocity so much. There's my scrunched up face. And there's all of Diesel's hair. It was like sweeping up sand. You guys, thank you so much for coming along. I appreciate it. Have a good day.